warns that it has reached a breaking point amidst the U.S. and other countries halting funding and repeated Israeli attempts to dismantle the life-sustaining organization. In a letter to the president of the U.N. General Assembly, UNRWA head Philippe Lazzarini said, quote, I fear we're on the edge of a monumental disaster. He also noted, quote, there have been more children, more journalists, more medical personnel, and more U.N. staff killed than anywhere in the world during a conflict, unquote. This comes as Israeli attacks throughout the Gaza Strip continue. At least 40 people were killed after coming under Israeli shelling on residential homes in Deir Abalah in central Gaza. Survivors gathered outside Al-Aqsa Hospital to mourn their loved ones who perished in the attack, including this father of a baby born just two weeks into Israel's assault. <laughs> The missile came down and killed 10 of us, and the whole house got destroyed. My mother is in intensive care. May God be kind to us. Thank God, thank God, my child. The child was born during the war, day 13 in the war. Meanwhile, Israeli negotiators are taking part in truce talks in Paris, according to local media. At the U.N. Security Council, the head of Doctors Without Borders blasted the U.S. for its repeated vetoes of Gaza ceasefire resolutions. MSF Secretary General Christopher Lockyer addressed the 15-member U.N. body Thursday. Children who do survive this war will not only bear the visible wounds of traumatic injuries, but the invisible ones, too. Those of repeated displacement, constant fear, and witnessing family members literally dismembered before their eyes. These psychological injuries have led children as young as five to tell us that they would prefer to die. The people of Gaza need a ceasefire not when practicable, but now. They need a sustained ceasefire, not a temporary period of calm. President Joe Biden said on social media Thursday, quote, the overwhelming majority of Palestinians are not Hamas, and Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people, unquote. Biden did not, however, comment on his refusal to call for a permanent ceasefire, ongoing U.S. funding for the Israeli military, or his administration's pending congressional request for another $14 billion to fund Israel's assault on Gaza. In a major victory for the boycott, divestment and sanctions movement, Norway's pension fund has divested their entire Israel bond holdings. Four Norwegian universities have also decided to cut ties with Israeli institutions linked to the— They've built walls and they've built roads exclusively for the use of the illegal settlers uh, that the local population cannot use. That's apartheid. Mm. So you have an apartheid state, which um, has always tried to merge the Zionist ideology, the Zionist narrative, with the facts on the ground. The Zionist narrative from the 1910s was a land without a people for a people without a land. In other words, terra nullius is what the British did in Australia. They said, you know, Captain Cook arrives and declares that Australia to be empty of people. Mm. So the Aborigines are not people, so kill them. Right. Genocide. It's the first step, terra nullius, is the first step towards genocide. So that's the Zionist project. A land without a people for a people without a land. Now, of course, there were people there. <laughs> there were millions of people there. There were. So now the IDF is in the process of ensuring that the Zionist um, allegory, slogan, eh, becomes a fact on the ground. They're getting rid of them. Mm. The whole point is to expel them, to kill them, to, to drive them away. They do not want to kill them all. I mean, they, they want to kill as many as is necessary to convince the rest to leave. Uh, you can see that in the West Bank, because people say to me, but Yanis, how can you possibly support Hamas? I am not supporting Hamas. Netanyahu supported Hamas. Likud and Netanyahu were in the business of diminishing the authority of the PLO, mm. and they have been for decades supporting Hamas, financially, uh, politically, militarily until they completely destroyed the, um, the capacity of the, of the PLO, of the Palestinian Authority, to appeal to the Palestinian people, and only Hamas is left to represent them. And in any case, let's say that we press a button and Hamas disappear. Mm. They just disappear. They, they, you know, they're all convinced. They're brainwashed by some wonderful piece of artificial intelligence 
delivered by drones, you know, to, to give up, to surrender. What happens in the West Bank? Hamas is not there. The ethnic cleansing, the genocide is continuing there. Mm. And of course, you can see that they, they just want the land, not to, n n not to mention the natural gas deposits, which are often to care about human rights. We must accept that we have now proven beyond dispute that we never cared as countries, as polities, as establishments, as media about human rights. We only cared about our human rights and the human rights of our friends, of our bastards. Right? If you are not one of us, you don't have human rights. You can be bombed, you ne you're never killed. Even if we kill you, you die. Mm. Um, uh, whenever they say, hang on, what's happening? They are terrorists, right? So never before has the West image around the world been so terrible. What is happening is at once in the West, Opinion, public opinion, conventional wisdom is solidifying its support for Israel's genocide, but the rest of the world is becoming more and more disillusioned with the so-called principles or ethical um, dimension of the Western uh, polity, of the Western way of thinking.